Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, as you can tell by the cat uh, picture that I have, profile picture. But let's continue playing as the German Empire now in our Kaiserite game. So, before I s start off saying anything else, this is using the 0.8.4 hotfix update to Kaiserite that launched yesterday. I noticed it when I saw it on the loading screen, or my, I guess, the main page for Hoi 4, and I was very worried, to be honest. Very, very worried. Because the last time they had, like, a hotfix or a patch, it broke my game save, so I hope I can publish this to YouTube without it crashing, because, you know, I don't want to have to redo everything, because we are at basically episode 39 now, I think? So, hope I'm pretty sure I already tested this, but if I let it go on, we should be fine. So, let's talk about a little territorial gains and whatnot. Ooh. Uh, let's take that side. Alright, cool. Let's see. So, obviously, it looks a little different. We have a little bit of yellow here, and I have freed some French territory up from the evil kingdom of France, or the French kingdom. So, my goal here is that... Ooh, uh, let's make sure that our guys are fighting effectively here. Uh, we're... Before I really do anything else, is this real quick. Go right ahead when you can, and I'm going to sell you guys that way. Alright, so, so, here's my prognosis. I said we were going to kind of reform the Holy Roman Empire last time. Well, I kind of am. But, with the annexation, if I wanted to annex France, the whole of France, that would be very difficult. Especially, if I liberated all of the Benelux, almost all of the Benelux, which is really just now called the Flanders Valonia, but whatever. So I basically liberated, under my direct leadership and uh, rule from Vienna, Flanders Valonia, which we'll just call the Greater Netherlands. I wish I could change the names here, but we'll just call it the Greater Netherlands, which is my direct puppet. Now I wish... Is this a monarchy? I don't think this is a monarchy. Paul... Yeah, he's definitely not a... It's definitely... It's Christian democracy. God dang it. Frickin' democracies. Anyways. Uh, let's see. But either way, we will annex... Greater Netherlands eventually. Which meant that a lot of my administrative costs and efficiency... And ultimately a great burden on us... Would be trying to... Annex... France into our country would be extremely costly and might not ever really be accomplished, especially if we're doing a bunch of overseas colonies in South Africa, South America, maybe portions of Africa, uh, India maybe, uh, definitely China would be affected, but uh, yeah, trying to do this entire region of the continent of Europe would be a little difficult to directly annex, thinking just administratively. That being said, I just did split up France into two portions, Occitania, as well as the French Kingdom. So that's basically my reasoning. Also, another thing, the Ukraine did expand a little bit. So last time, I did let Russia annex Belarus, or White Ruthenia. That being said, Russia re-released Belarus, which they actually might do in a little bit. Because I literally just took gave that territory back to Russia. This honestly doesn't look too bad. I took a little portion of this territory and gave it to the Ukraine. But this honestly doesn't look too bad, so it's almost almost flat. So I think that looks pretty good, to be honest. So our goal is, in this episode is to finish off the AOG, which is with it, which is different from the hot fix that happened yesterday, which was actually today for me. But usually they'd be called Algemeine Ostasien Gesellschaft. Now we just pronounced it the AOG, the AUG. So it's actually one of the nice quality of life updates. Gotta love, gotta love the mod developers for this. They really love this game, Minimod, so much. But, uh, let's see, we did have a fallback line with this guy, so let's just go ahead and put him on a front line now. Since we have invaded, or have begun invading, Spain. Wait, the French Republic wants no. Yeah, that's my answer to you. Uh, we definitely need better infrastructure here, but I've got a lot of things needed here. Uh, whatever. I don't really care at this point anymore. I just want Brazil dead as well. This is ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Very good, very good. Just please take them all out. How much further till Brazil dies? 
AOG is 64% of the way. Brazil's almost dead. 97% of the A coup d'etat in Sa An Siam. Uh, you know, I am playing with the mod fully and the hotfix installed, so the West Indies Federation does have different paths it can take. But it's 1950, and... Oh, I did give Puerto Rico to... Oh, that's kind of a nice flag. To the West Indies Federation. Um, yeah, I don't. S oh shit! Oh no! Oh click! Oh god! No, I clicked on something. Uh, I'm not sure what I clicked on. I'm sorry, but no, not aggression packs. I hope it doesn't affect the game too much. But we'll see what happens. Oh god! My god! What are you guys doing? Oh, you're just you're Russian soldiers. No one cares. All right. So, it looks like the AOG is definitely taking over the USA. The, Ger the Chinese are taking over the United States, guys. It's been confirmed in my video here. Better watch out, Americans. Better watch out for myself. Oh, God. Anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, this looks not correct. But I'm going to say I'm going to enjoy it, even if I don't. Let's see. Oh, we definitely... I hope that the mod isn't act as if we're in, or the hotfix acts as if we are in 1936 and it's now starting up some of its events, that wouldn't be very much fun for us. And at this point, I feel fairly confident that I could probably strike the German government in exile, even though they have a lot of manpower, and have a kind of a good time with them. Maybe not. Maybe I should wait. I think I'm going to wait, because they have a lot of ships. How are, how are our ships here? Are they doing anything? I don't think they're doing anything. Does anyone need repairs? I got 19... Oh, I guess some of them need repairs. 19 destroyers. Uh, oh, they already are repairing. A lot of these ships got hit. Uh, yeah, go ahead and cancel the task. Just come back on out. Good. Uh, I guess do both of these, but I will send a good portion of these guys to get repaired. Alright. That's good. Alright, so get some good convoys here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, oh my god, we're expanding fast into Spain. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. And since you are down here, you might as well help out. What are you doing? You are actual Austrian soldiers, which are doing nothing. Honestly, I don't really want to use you anymore. I, can, I want that manpower back, so... Bye-bye, army. You, you've served greatly. Served very greatly. And what are you guys doing? You're all over here. And Brazil capitulated. Yay! Good job, guys. Good job. We will take all the states. And Morocco's right there. Okay, then. Let's see. Ah, Brazil was annexed. Nope, nope, and nope. And with, regarding Brazil, we'll treat them like all the other countries here. Are we at... Um... We're at war with them. Maybe I didn't give them orders. Yeah, I don't think I gave them orders. Go right ahead, guys. There you go. Cool. I guess we have some extra technology things we could do. And good. You're him, but I have some other soldiers as well. Yeah. Oh, you're over here or something? I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. But I'm not too worried about it. I mean, they aren't the most bestest soldiers. They're pretty good, but they're not terrible. Send my tanks down here to Spain. So after this war, obviously, I'm going to go straight up to war with... And Republic, but we will have to fight off two Sicilies first, and that's going to be a problem to break into. Or so you would think, but I don't know how many nukes we have. Two Sicilies will... Oh, wait. Oh, this tells you. Two Sicilies will lose 4% war support. Uh, war support impact will be largest in provinces with 10 infrastructure and at least 3 victory points. Awesome. I did not know that they could have that now. Or maybe that was in the last update. I don't know, but that would definitely affect their war support, so I want to say I want to do that. That's awesome. And over here, drop a nuclear bomb. Four, four more war support will dropped. And we don't have air superiority over there, which is totally fine. Now let's actually watch what happens. 90% should go down to 82%. And the bombs were dropped. And, oh, it actually... Oh. 90 minus 4 minus 4. It's 82, I thought. Maybe my math is wrong. Maybe I'm actually not good at extremely basic arithmetic. 
but I don't think that's the right number. But then again, who who am I to say? Whatever. All right, cool. Oh, uh, we'll make some more convoys. Cause screw it, why not? So that should help our soldiers or allies get into get into Bologna. Very good. The atomic bombing of Romagna. So for the first and hopefully last time in history, a nuclear bomb has been detonated in Romagna as a part of international warfare. Well, that was the first time in someone for Romagna to get nuked, but I nuked the living shit out of Japan. I mean, you saw me draw 13 nukes on Japan. Hmm. The unprecedented destruction stands as a testament to the devastating power of this new weapon, which was created by the Austrians, which is feared not only for what it can do to its targets, but what implications it has for the one who deploys it and for humanity itself. And I do have coffee here. I don't know why I just added that, but I, I have my coffee right next to my mic. Uh, the world holds its breath waiting for what will come next. Will this force two Sicilies to surrender to avoid further terror, or will it only strengthen their resolve to strike back against those who would resort to such measures? Baby, they didn't learn the first time. Maybe two. Two boys would help. Oh, we're, I guess I'm out of nukes. Alright, Ravina. Good luck. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not gonna send any soldiers this way. No. Uh, I'm going to let the Italians do it. I will help with nukes and airplanes, but that's pretty much it. And we need to really... Oh, what is this? Return Ottoman lands? Return Egyptian lands? Oh, this is new. Return Qing lands? I'll do that. Very interesting. And the fate of Brazil, we're just gonna balkanize Brazil. Oh god, no. You know, I said I wanted to make sure this game doesn't lag too much, and I've already set up three new puppet kingdoms in Europe. I'm just gonna occupy them. And like last time we just do war support, like give me like two and then stability for like five or something. Just so that we're fifty. Cool. Great job, guys. And of course, Spain is done. But what else is new? So we're gonna send a bunch of planes. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh. Why didn't I remember to fix this? That's okay. Oh my gosh, we're only halfway through close. Oh my lord. Heavy naval. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna not do that then. Oh, I have three ships here. They look pretty good, honestly. Go ahead and add in, like, three more ships. Cool. Oh, we are getting more manpower just because I did core a lot of this territory. It doesn't make too much sense, but I wanted the cores anyways. <clears throat> Since we are mostly German from the former German Empire. Man, we have a lot of negative political power. Jesus. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. We're going to get rid of a lot of these, but we're going to watch what happens as our allies try to kill off a bunch of enemies. So, it looks like the Italian attack with that 9 or 10 right there. Oh, 86. That's definitely different. Uh, let's see... I don't remember using these. Tank oh my gosh, that's a lot of tank destroyers. But light tank destroyers, if you're going to go with tank destroyers, you want to go with heavy tank destroyers. That's really where it's at. So let's go ahead and get rid of a lot of these. So, yeah, at this at this rate, I don't believe I'll be doing another campaign before the DLC drops. But I'm I'm so ready for the DLC to drop. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Honestly, I don't know a whole bunch about the DLC, to be honest. So, I'm just trying to... Oh, Okay, I like this. I've been trying to... It's going to sound weird. Save myself. <laughs> that sounds weird. Save myself for uh, what the DLC will entail. I know it has new ship options. Obviously, it's called Man the Guns and whatnot. But... I know you can retrofit outdated ships with new stuff, which sounds really awesome. And, of course, we'll take all states. Looks good. We will have to take out Portugal eventually, though. I also know they have a new focus tree for Mexico, as well as another focus tree for the Netherlands, I believe it was. Not Belgium, but the Netherlands. So that'll be interesting. Oh wait, did he actually have something good there? Oh yeah, he did. I'm glad I caught that. So we'll send these guys to Portugal when we have to attack once again. And actually, I'm feeling very good about this area. Oh. Oh, I don't want to... Give this record back to the French Republic. God dang it. Uh, but with that in mind, anything else to man the guns? Uh, obviously, fuel is going to be a extremely major part of... Oh my god, uh, we just capitulated two enemies and they got all this... But anyways, so the fuel aspect will be the biggest breaker or maker, I guess, for me. I just want to see how hard Germany and... 
from Japan really will be ahead. Even the UK, because if you're playing as Germany and you use your subs effectively and you decide not to use too much tanks, or you try not to use uh, too much naval, or I guess air power, how well can you starve off the UK before they can capitulate? That's what I really want to know. Because, you know, I can invade the UK by 1941. You know, it's not the best record for anybody, but... I can... I've done it before. It's not terribly difficult. But it'll just be very interesting to see how... really how fuel will affect the entire meta of the game. Because I love using tanks. Even when I don't have air superiority, I just use tanks. Just attack willy-nilly. Willy no real care. Almost too easy once you get 40 with medium tanks. Almost too easy. But unless it's like late game Kaiser, I can everyone has like a thousand divisions. <clears throat> nope, I don't want that. And we're almost done here, guys. Almost done. I know there's so many crappy planes here. Oh god. Oh, I deleted the wrong ones. Oh well. And cool. Awesome. Well, it looks like our allies are making headway into Spain. Just a Spain. Italy, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh this is so much better. Oh wow, we actually have quite a few heavy fighters. Well, let's get 800 of these guys. I might, if I ever get enough political power, I might drop down to a lower conscription level so we can build things a little faster. Doesn't really matter too much, but that'd be kind of nice. Hmm. And that's the last of the coffee. Where do I put you? There you go. Italy, you're trying to bomb stuff, but you don't got superiority. Uh, nothing like superiority. There you go. That should definitely help out. And let's see this. Oh, we're going to do the same thing again here. Oh, hand them over to our Catholic brothers, the Carlists. Restore the Kingdom of Spain. Establish an independent Spanish Republic. No way. Francisco Franco Bahamonda. Hmm. Definitely... Oh, wait. That'll be... Wait. Oh, I would have a Kingdom of Spain, and then I would have a Spanish Republic? Hell no. Kingdom of Spain would be kind of cool. Catholic Brothers of Carlists. We'll decide about that later. And Fate of Central America. The very loyal. And I just have the region. And that hurt. Oh my gosh. Just give me 20 and then war support 14. Alright, you didn't see that. Oh, I'm never going to get out of this political power hole. Anyways. So, you guys are doing well. You guys are where? You're down here. You have no jobs. Or you don't have a task. None of you guys do. Uh, well... Since we're going to let the Italians do their Italian thing, we'll come from here. We'll go over here. Because we will go to war with the Entente, like I said before. And then you guys... Can I sneak my way over here? It's... You cannot draw a front line there. Well, that's okay. Well, then we'll just do this so that they can't come in. There you go. Now, with you guys, I'm actually going to send both of you under him. And all four of you will guard this ish area because you will lead us into this area. Ireland is now Texas. Good to know. Cool. Uh, I don't think I have a spare commander. No, I do not. And I will never have another spare commander here. That's okay. And actually, you know what? Come up here. Pick up Belize if you can. Awesome. Uh, we, we haven't really found very much over here, which is kind of disappointing. But, we can go ahead. I want you to... Ooh, Gibraltar's a very weak base. Two, three, how about over here? Two, two... Jesus, Spain, you gotta do better than this. Uh, go home, but not really. Come to the Western Mediterranean, help me blow up any ships that is owned by Morocco. Uh, you can't connect, even though you do have connection right there. That's alright. That's okay. And now our Russian armies... Uh, what do we do with these guys? I don't really want to send them to Italy, because our Italians should be able to do it, and that'll wreck any sort of infrastructure that we have. Well, let's take a quick look, everyone. How are we doing? So the Donau Adriabund is the dominant force in Europe, minus the UK, as well as portions of Italy, Portugal, and Greece. The Entente is down here. I know where to send those bad boys. We don't need that many divisions to take out India, right? I almost forgot about those guys. Almost did. But I did not. That would be good. You will focus on them. I have a bunch of extra things here. You come up here. 
And naval bombers. I don't know how many more naval... Oh my god, that's so many factories. Get tactical bombers. Just actually... We might as well do the jet attack strategic bombers. Um, anything here? Super heavy tank? I don't, I just don't feel compelled to use any of those. Anti-tank, screw it, we're making some anti-tank. Yeah, I don't want to see this, because we already have more than enough of everything. Oh, wait, Sardinia is still alive. Oh, that was that island over here. That's unfortunate. How is the air power? Are we, are we better now? Are we, are we any good? Oh, we are very good. Wow, 26 points of... 20, almost 30 points of damage done to the enemy divisions. Sound extremely good. I don't know about you, but it sounds extremely good to me. Uh, tactical bombers, yeah, add in another 100. Come down here. And... Yeah, I'm going to add 800 more if I can. And we have 800 more. Awesome. Actually, maybe I should have some jet tactical bombers, too. Oh. Oh, I definitely need more aluminum, though. We have enough? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We'll do it. Where are those jet tactical bombers? Oh, maybe I didn't research them yet. Maybe I didn't research them. Maybe I just failed. Jet fighters. But we need heavy fighters for the rest of the game. Uh, oh, there they are. Found them. Let's see. We want the best type of bombing run known to man. Really good reliability. That'll hurt our agility, though. So let's lower that. Good. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad. Slightly better bombing? No, that would hurt. A little better range? No, that hurt reliability. Well, that looks like the best we can do. And we'll do... Oh, crap, where'd they go? There you are. Yeah, actually, you know what? Just send them to the bottom. Send them to the brig! Close to the bottom. And, oh my god, how much more of this will we need? Uh, oh, oh my god, 320? Yes, sir and actually, we can probably stop borrowing from the Italians. Actually, borrowing from the Italians won't really be too damaging. But that's okay. Alright. Oh. Convoy is trying to get hit. Morocco's going to be a problem. Seeing as the infrastructure here is so freaking bad. Oh my gosh, what am I building here? So much crap. What is this even called? Triple Atania. Oh, found it. Go ahead, go ahead. I will probably have to end up nuking this area. Let's build some nukes, actually. I'm out of I'm not out of space, because we've got all sorts of space. Oh my gosh, 30? 10%? I nuked this, go this gosh darn place way too hard. Oh, 100%? Sure. And another 100%? Sure. I nuked everything pretty much into oblivion. And no, I've never played that game before. Just saying. Oh, look! Who's this? The Entente. Looks like they've landed in Catania, and they actually landed on a port. The AI is learning. Holy crap. Oh, it looks like, yeah, uh, let's check out, let's check out two Sicily. So they have a little bit of manpower left. They're unscraping the barrel. Interesting. Very interesting. Morocco. Can you guys just walk into here, please? There you go. Very good. Awesome. And you guys are rearranging yourselves, that's fine. The Entente is still struggling with the German-Chinese, and how is that war going on over here? I've completely ignored all this. Alright, so with that in mind... Oh, you guys need to just go ham. At this point, Eric Hoffman, I hope you learned a lot. Well, doesn't look like you learned that much. But that's okay, we still like you. Don't love you, but we still like you. And that's it. Alright, so go ahead. I guess be... Oh, extreme, I suppose. Uh, our goal is to really make sure that they don't have any equipment, because obviously the German Chinese will have tons of manpower, but we made a major breakdown here, holy crap. Nice. Now oh, we're attacking through Tibet, we're attacking through here. Uh, just, those guys really won't put up a, much of a fight, guys. Oh, a visit from Liechtenstein! We have just received a state visit from the Principality of Liechtenstein, which is a final remnant of the Holy Roman Empire, and due to its unique geographical location, has survived up to now. Since 1818, they've been under our protection. First, through our leadership of the German Confederation, and later through bilateral treaties. I think I've read this earlier on as well. Prince uh, Prince Franz has stepped down from the throne and named his 31-year-old cousin twice removed as a regnant. Yeah, well, I said this before. To celebrate the occasion, they have brought us gifts and good wishes, and we've given the new prince gifts and wished him a long and happy reign. Yeah, we've read that before. Oh boy. But it looks like our Italian allies have been beaten up a good portion of the Italian enemy. Very nice. 
Good job, Italy, and Ukrainian boys, and Danish boys, and Russian boys. Wow. We are one of the most inclusive multinational empires to have ever reigned. This is the type of inclusion we need in the world. Everyone fighting together against Italians. Even Italians are killing Italians. This is what we need in life. Oh, we got tanks here. Um, I could maybe use the tanks to help speed this up. Or I could use the tanks to invade Morocco. I like that idea much better. Alright. So, the tankies. Tank, tank my boys. Uh, why not? Can I... Can I not... In oh, wait, hold on. I have to click on this guy to invade using tanks. That's a little tricky. You cannot use a field marshal to invade using anybody. But you have to use these. Alright. Putting tanks in the water probably isn't the greatest idea. Because who knows if tanks will float. But I do. Some of them will float. As long as they're not shot too badly. And then y'all will go from here into... You really need a neighboring province to help take the fort. And then y'all will go... Yes, I am saying the word y'all. Over here. That should be good enough. We add three over here. I'm glad I put, put quite a few naval dockyards over here. They actually kind of paid off. Let's actually focus on the carriers. Well, maybe see if we can add a carrier in. Maybe, eventually. Oh, and we're going to have another tank thing here. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll do subs as well. Give our guys some time to make sure that they know what they're doing. Go oh, carrier naval bombs. Yeah, actually, that would be a good idea to continue researching those. Because since I want carriers, we're going to need fighters and bombers on those carriers. Oh, let's see. Okay. Let it pause, let the game catch up to itself. So we don't have that research slot. We have low manpower with an extra 3 million in reserve. Makes sense. And I thought I told you to rebase here or something like that. This is my main fleet under Miklos Horthy with 38 dreadnoughts. Then, why do I have all those ships? I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, so we had to go all the way around Africa because we don't own the that thing. Gibraltar. Well, we own Gibraltar. Hold on. I see my war sports a little low. There you go, two points. But I guess since Morocco owns this, we have to wait. Alright. Well, since we have to wait for our ships, that's okay. That's definitely okay. Ah, uh, yes. The German Empire, or German government in exile, I am the German Empire, has sent divisions to help out Morocco. Morocco, what is your manpower like? Not much. Not much. So with all this extra air support here, once we finish off two Sicilies, I will definitely help out... Okay, I did not send that. But Naples has just been nuked. We have nuked nipples. Uh, let's see. I would definitely send some air power down to Morocco. Most definitely. And when I go to war with the Entente, I will take these guys out using my puppets. I probably won't personally invade them, probably not, but I'll have my puppets take them out. Yeah, this... Oh, the Germans sent divisions to two Sicilies. Yeah, you guys are doing very well even without us, so... Not worried. You guys are putting in one hell of a fight. Ah, the German Empire. They know no bounds. They even took over all of South America. They're so good. Actually, you guys, just maybe take that portion of Mexico if you can. Very good. German China. They even took out Detroit. God. But the Entente did take back Chicago. How big is your navy? Like, how can you afford to send all these guys up here and not try to get killed? Absolute mad, lads. Let's see. Capital bomber. Very good. Uh, how's this going? Oh, we are with an extreme focus on trying to take enemies out. We have... Definitely probably had some losses, but that's okay. Everyone needs losses from time to time, right? Oh. Go that way. Just to make sure that we can take out their forts. German China should capitulate soonish. They are 76% of the way. Where's our capital? If we take their capital, it'd probably be over. Oh, please, so. Oh, and they're also taking out the Republic of Siam. Makes sense. Makes sense. So before we do anything radical, too radical. I will definitely have to switch up where these armies are located. Asia, well, you're definitely in Asia now. Let's come down here. And I want to see what type of planes that these guys need. Where's that airbase I just had? There it is. Found it. Thank you guys for helping me out. Oh, they don't have any planes. Jesus. You need planes. 
We will all need a bunch of planes. Oh, better marines, cool. And carrier fighters. And we will need a few tactical bombers. Jet, jet tactical bombers. Yeah, we'll try those boys out. Yeah, from here on out, I'm just going to use jet tactical bombers for that type of bombing runs and stuff like that. Oh, we have two things done. Uh, yeah, sure, paratroopers, because I always use paratroopers, and... Yeah, whatever that is. Whatever the ship that looks like. So, actually, we might want maybe a few more... And eh, whatever, we'll do that. Since we should have more than enough range here. So, we're going to wait for these guys to get... In a standby position, we'll arm our guys up a little further. Uh, do we have any more jet tactical bombers? Whatever. They'll get up to 100 soon enough. Both of you guys. Split, split. One, two, three, four. Split them up. One, two, three, four, five. Not sure why I did that, but whatever. Three, four, five. Good. Now they got quite a bit of an air force. Get that. That. I'll put these jet tactical bombers under you, and that's pretty good. I'd say that looks pretty darn good. Give you guys a couple days, and then we will go to war with Hyderabad. Obviously, they have more soldiers on their border, but, you know, we'll see what happens. It's only India, right? What could go wrong? Oh my god, that's a lot of manpower. Over 10 million. Oh, looks like we got way too many armies here. Stay for that, and I will end the episode very soon. You guys take these guys out. Oh, look at all these negative winnings. Not winnings. I'm not, I'm not losing, but I'm not winning in a lot of these battles. That's okay. If you can take out the port, then uh, these guys will crush, be crushed, and we can continue our onslaught against German Chinese. Wow, Russia, you've lost a lot of guys compared to me. Holy cow, 15,000. Baby, that's a lot. Oh, the two Sicilies lost over 3 million Italians so far. Holy cow. Convoy's lost. Good, good, good. If we're doing... Uh, we're just doing well. I mean, there's no point. There's no doubt about it. We are doing very well. A dare bad's looking good. Oh, this is a lot of convoys, but a lot of things sunk. Whatever. Should be okay. The game is lagging so hard, I can't even read any of these. Oh, yeah. The two Sicilies is going to die. The Italians and my allies have done such a good job against these guys. I have 1,100 factories. We have... Are, are our ships up here yet? Where are our ships? They're on this. All right. So, what the hell is going on? Why are you going that way? I thought you were gonna go around the coast of Africa. You, did you literally go away, all the way through North and South America, to come through Asia to get to Africa, to get to to the Mediterranean? God, they really didn't want to take any hits. I'm so proud of you guys. You're, you guys are just absolute crazy people. But with that in mind. I've talked long enough for this episode, so we're going to end it here. So guys, thank you very much for watching. What have we done? Well, we took out Spain. We have found our another enemy called Portugal to take out. We have fully demolished South America under our rule. We're about to capitulate the Allgemeine Ostasien Gesellschaft, and we will take out two Sicilies next time and invade Morocco using nothing but tanks. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we see Madagascar taking out taken out by Hyderabad. Thank you for watching.